Hello, good morning everyone. I hope you all are having a good day. And uh, today I'm here for discussing with all of you what would be the right treatment or the diagnosis for lymphoma. Okay, so lymphoma is usually a type of blood cancer, but it's a very, very uh, slow growing tumor. Some of them, some of them are aggressive although, but com as compared to the typical blood cancers, which are called as leukemias, lymphomas are more indolent. They grow over time. They do not cause a lot of symptoms in a patient's body. That is why the diagnosis of lymphoma is usually a little late. Although, even though the lymphoma is stage 1 or stage 4, does not matter as the treatment is more or less the same. Only the number of cycles would increase in the later stages of lymphoma and sometimes we may have to add few cycles of radiation as well. So lymphoma is usually the disorders or the cancer of lymph nodes in the body. Now what exactly are lymph nodes? So let's take for example our head. Okay, so something from our neck to our head. So all the organs, all the structures that are situated in this part of our head, the blood from this part of our head drains to the body down till the heart through lymph nodes that are situated on the both sides of the neck. So there are a couple of lymph nodes that are situated on either side of the neck and from there the blood that is the deoxygenated blood which is already used up by these structures is supplied to the heart through these lymph nodes. So two types of structures pass through these lymph nodes. One is your blood and second is your lymph. Lymph is also something that is very closely similar to the blood. And any abnormality occurring in these lymphatic structures or lymph nodes is called as lymphoma which is a type of cancer okay and because the structures like blood and lymph is passing through these organs it is called as a lymphoma okay so lymphoma usually is diagnosed in the patients who have swelling on the sites of these lymph nodes so the commonest site of lymph nodes in the body is neck supraclavicular on the top of the uh, clavicles uh, your axilla on either sides your groins which is in between both the legs and sometimes in the abdomen as well usually any of these sites the patient will present with swelling over there or big big lymph nodes that are palpable in the neck or the supraclavicular or the axillary fossa or in the groin that is how we get an indication that this person may be suffering from lymphoma and we think in that direction okay Usually these lymph nodes are also affected by some of the infective conditions like tuberculosis. Okay, so tuberculosis also causes swelling of the lymph nodes in the body. So whenever we see such a patient who comes to us with swelling in these organs, we suspect either tuberculosis or a case of lymphoma, which is a blood cancer. So the only diagnostic modality for making sure whether we are dealing with tuberculosis or whether we are dealing with lymphoma is by doing a biopsy. So usually a biopsy is always done from the most superficial part of this swelling and the complete lymph node is removed out and studied in the lab for the proper diagnosis. If it's tuberculosis then the story is completely different. It is cured with the medicines that we have available today. Although if it's a lymphoma then we have to further characterize what type of lymphoma it is as we have almost 30 different kind of lymphomas existing today. So there could be something which is very very indolent, very very less uh, spreading type of a lymphoma to very very high grade lymphomas that spread really fast and spread to various organs causing a lot of issues. So there is a test on the biopsy block which we've taken out. All the tests are conducted on those biopsy blocks only. So the biopsy does not have to be repeated again and again. It does only have to be done only once. After we get the diagnosis of whatever type of lymphoma it is, the next investigation your oncologist will tell you is to do a whole body PET CT scan. Now whole body PET CT scan is extremely important because this will determine the stage of that lymphoma. The size of those balls that you have on your body does not correlate with the stage. The stage has to be found out on the whole body PET CT scan because that will tell us how uh, rapidly it is spreading in your body. So if you have a group of lymph nodes swelled up in your neck on the PET CT scan and rest of your body is normal, then that is called as a stage 1 lymphoma. Example, 
for example in the pet ct scan you have the neck swelling as well as something in your axilla even in your axilla the balls are there so that means that this is stage 2 in the pet ct scan if you have these two sides involved and also you have the groin involvement or abdomen involvement then it becomes a stage 3 and if you have this lymphoma in all of these organs whichever I have described right now and also in one of the organ in the body not a lymphatic structure but a proper organ like lung, spleen, bone, kidney, liver etc then it is called as a stage 4 lymphoma but nothing to worry because in any given case of a lymphoma this is completely curable so now lymphomas are divided into low grade lymphomas and high grade lymphomas in the low grade lymphomas the treatment is usually with targeted therapy plus a combination of chemotherapy so the chemotherapy that we used to use previously five years ago for lymphoma was very toxic and the patient used to have a lot of side effects although the chemotherapy that we are using right now for lymphoma is very very non-toxic and the patient can do their daily routine activities while on treatment without any major comorbidity without any major uh, decrease in the quality of life or without any major issues whatever may be the age of the patient so the treatment of lymphoma has become very very uh, purified and very very purified versions of medicine have come up now which causes a lot of rapid improvement in the patient's general condition with the use of immunotherapy and targeted therapy in these cases of lymphoma so if you've been diagnosed with a particular kind of lymphoma please let me know through this video you can contact me to this video and we can discuss with your particular type of lymphoma because there are almost 35 different types of lymphomas it is not um, possible to explain all of them in a single video we would be creating multiple videos here explaining one one different type of lymphoma but if you have a specific type of lymphoma if you are undergoing some kind of treatment or you are willing to start the treatment at your center Please let me know so that I can tell you the exact treatment for your stage and your type of lymphoma. All the thing to be remembered is that lymphomas are completely curable with the current modality of treatment that is available with us. Some patients only with the use of targeted therapy, immunotherapy are very well cured of lymphoma. Although some patients do require the setting of bone marrow transplant later in life but not everyone. So this has to be very well curated in these patients depending upon their stage and presentation and the symptoms and their age so these are all the differentiating features which makes the treatment of lymphoma very very personalized in every individual individual a and individual b even though having the same kind of lymphoma and same stage of lymphoma will not receive the same treatment as the comorbidities the age and other things are different in both the patients okay so if you have any further doubts relating to lymphoma treatment or if you want to cure it some particular question regarding to it you can please contact me in the information given below i hope you have a very great day ahead and a great future ahead thank you